Look, the Hawks have made a coaching change a couple weeks back. They're five and six under Quinn Snyder. They're the eight seed as of right now. Evan, what's changed in Atlanta since Quinn Snyder took over? Are they better? Are they worse? What's going on out there? I mean, I think the voice has changed because uh, when you break it down, um, you know, their old coach, Nate McMillan, he was under, you know, Lloyd Pierce's staff. So I think, you know, the identity is something new for him. Even though you get a new coaching staff, uh, you know, or he switched up the coach, it doesn't mean the energy is, is different. So I think Quinn Snyder coming in with his group has been huge. I think, uh, you know, what could change is the offense. You know, Quinn Snyder has always been known for being an offensive guru. And I uh, remember his days in Utah. He had some of the best, uh, you know, offense in the league for several, several seasons. So I think they'll be able to kick it up into that, into that gear eventually. But um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, offensively, Chandler. obviously, with what he did with Donovan Mitchell in Utah, he could kind of do something similar with Dejounte Murray and with Trey Young in Atlanta. But it's it's usually just a breath of fresh air with everything the Hawks went through with with the Lloyd Pierce era and then the Nate McMillan. It's just to get in a fresh face sometimes just changes your attitude, your positivity, and. Look, they're, they're a 500 team before Quinn Snyder, and they're basically a little bit under 500 with them. So I can't sit here and say they're drastically better. I think Quinn Snyder's the right guy for the future of this team. And look, they're the eighth seed. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have a tough first round matchup. Uh, maybe they can make it interesting. We know they survived and advanced a couple of rounds a couple of years ago, but uh, this is gonna probably be a, a short season for the Hawks, but I, I think it's more about the potential and they kind of under, uh, under uh, exceeded expectations for this season, right? I thought Atlanta was going to make that jump. They added DeJounte Murray. I love DeAndre Hunter. He's a year older. Clint Capella is a solid. Like, they had the pieces, I thought, this year to kind of make that leap and to be a, a factor, and they just didn't. So they're going to kind of regroup this summer. They got their coach moving forward, and we'll see what else they do. But they're kind of just sitting there in this 500 area, and they're going to draw the Bucks probably first round, and it's not going to be pretty. I feel like at this point, we know what the Hawks are. They're the eighth seed in a 15-seed conference. They've been at or one game above or below 500 for the last 26 games. It's really ridiculous. They've been the definition of mid. I don't know if you should be impressed or depressed or what, but they are mid. They're exactly that. Who knows? Who knows what Quinn Snyder does in the future and what he can change with that team, but really strange season for the Hawks. Yeah, On the other the side of this... Speech? <laughs> that's the one. I think that's it. Like, yeah, yo, you guys are perfect. <laughs> yeah, are we wasting our time or are we not wasting our time? Like, give me a little flow. Get Sorry. to watch <laughs> some some nice Trey Young shots all year long, yeah. I guess.